Hello everybody, my name is Todd and today we're going to talk about the mechanics of endergenic generators. Before I made a video on setups, uh, this one is going to be more about the why they work. So nothing pretty today, plus I'm going to use uh, mainly just vanilla stuff and RF tool stuff so you won't have to rely on any other mods to be in your packs. Um, we're going to use this as an example here. Over here is going to be the injector, this is going to be a generator and this is going to be an, a generator. Uh, there are three states the generators can be in. The first one is idle, that's just if you place it down. Uh, and the next one is charging, that's if you give it a redstone signal then in charging mode it'll be able to accept the ender pearl and make some power. And the last is holding and that's when it actually has the ender pearl. Um, so let's say this one is in idle. Uh, if it is in idle and I'm at ender pearl then if I try to get caught by it, then it will I'll just smash against it and get destroyed. Uh, we want it to be in charging like this so that I can go inside and make some power for the player. Um, it will only be in charging for 16 ticks once you give it a signal, so it's kind of, you know, you got that's where the timing comes in. Um, so I'm only going to do this for a little bit uh, just so that nobody gets motion sickness or anything but I put in some wiring here so that if I'm in here then we'll be able to send the signal so that that can go into charging mode and and catch me so you know just it's kinda oh, I guess my timing isn't that great alright one more time because it worked before so it's kinda like this and then the signal gets you know and then goes back and forth like that that's how the pearls kinda going in between the generators um, so when a pearl gets lost, you're going to need another one to go into the system. So say I'm some more pearls over here and I'm waiting and ready to go. Uh, so that you can tell the injector to send one in there, you're going to need a timer that will send a pulse over there. You also want the timer to have the back end kind of hooked up to your generator so that it's getting a signal so that it will reset its own timer so it won't send a new signal to the injector. Um, that'll look kind of like this. Let me shorten the timer a little bit. Did that actually work? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm a pearl. I'm ready to go. And as soon as... There we go. And then the whole power deal goes. Um, you'll also want somehow for your timer to get wired into your generator so that they get put in the charging mode because, say, this doesn't get put in the charging mode. just get smashed you know all right so let's go and see some of the minimum setups oh, yeah that'll work go over here and start building them now I'm going to show you the minimum amount of stuff that you'll need for one of these to work oh, you don't even need that you need that though Alright, so if you go to the wiki page, there is one there. Um, I agree that it can, can be confusing. I had to read different boards to kind of, and mess with it to kind of figure it out. It's, I don't know. Um, there is a lot of helpful information there, but it still can get confusing. So we're going to go over the minimum. Um, the minimum amount of generators you need are two because they need to throw between each other. And then minimum amount of monitors, too, because you'll need them to be able to tell when a pearl has arrived. Uh, for space, now we'll just go like this, pointing at each other. All right. So you'll need a signal going, look, when it gets caught, when the pearl gets caught, you'll need a signal going back to the machine to tell it that it needs to fire. You'll also need, oh, that's why I did that before. You'll also need a signal going to the next generator to put it into charging mode so that it can be caught, you know, with the doors open. So that's what's going to happen. A pearl will catch here, a signal will be shot over here to open the doors, and one will come around here so that it'll actually fire. So we want this a similar thing over on this side. Just for symmetry, we'll put that there. And so that's what's going to happen over here. Um, once the machine is actually working, this is all that's needed right here. It's just going to go in a loop, loop, loop. Um, what we're going to put in now is just to get it started. 
of course you'll need the injector and this is the first door on this side where you're just kind of waiting um, you'll need something to put a redstone pulse in and you'll need to put this into charging mode over here so we're gonna do that There we go. That's better. All right. So when I flip the switch and do a pulse, so I got to do it fast, it'll come around, it will put this into charging mode, and it will shoot a ender pearl. An ender pearl. And plus, we have to link these. Don't forget that. I always forget that. So we'll get some pearls, and I will demonstrate this, and hopefully, I can flick this little lever fast enough. All right, here we go. Nope. And there it is. That's it. And then it's smashed. Um, I mentioned in the other video that there's a very small pr um, chance that even with a perfect system, your pearls going to get lost. And that's just so that your pearls, pardon me, just so that your pearls aren't unlimited. Um, you you know there's some loss in there. So we'll see if we can get this in and. There we go. There it is. See? That's it. Now, this is not optimized at all. All this is doing is it's just pretty much working. You know, you get 200 per tick, which isn't terrible, but when you get to mid game, you know, you're going to want something a little bit more than that. Um, we can automate this, um, hitting this little lever here with the timers. And that's what I was kind of showing over there with the timer so that your system knows that it's time to put a new. Um, pearl in. Let's get some of this other stuff out of here that we don't need anymore. We'll need a sequencer. Alright, so then you can put the timer down. You'll need the timer to be able to send a message to the injector to fire the pearl. You'll also want that signal to come back around and charge this one just like how I had with the lever where it kind of came around. Um, You'll want a sequencer, and here I'll do it without a sequencer just to kind of demonstrate what it looks like without one. And we're going to waste all of our pearls right here. See them? Just smashing. Now what's going on is because it's all constant redstone signal right here. When these are going back and forth, it's still sending a signal around to send your pearls. So even though there's a pearl in there that could be going by on its own, it's sending more. So what we want is a sequencer because... Um, it'll send a signal one way, just like a repeater. So when you do this, uh, down here you'll see once one. What that means is that when it gets a signal, it's got to go through all of these ticks before it'll be able to start over. If you put it in once two, it'll be able to start over every time it gets the signal. So we'll do once one just to demonstrate. You see, it only flashes at one time, then when it gets through the signal, then it'll flash again. And for some reason it's not. Anyway, so if you put it on once two, maybe it's just so fast, then it'll flash every time. So once two, first tick. So it's going like this, waiting for a uh, pearl to get put into the system. And then this is it, automated so that you don't have to flick the lever. You just have some way to put the uh, pearls in, and it'll go on its own. And I am having some unlucky fires. Oh, I know what's going on. This right here, it's not actually touching the machine. So we're going to go, nope, that still didn't do it. There we go. Now we got to put more pearls in. There it is. And then that's it. I know, it's real pretty. Not efficient, doesn't make a whole lot of power by itself. We'll just take a look, see about 200 per tick and then that was at 200 per tick so not bad but not great all right so you're wondering well what if I'm playing a mod pack and I don't have those fancy other mods over there to help me out well we can do this with vanilla blocks also Oops. I don't know why I do that I'll just come over here I have a whole world to use There, we'll get these pieces again. Alright, I think we can do it with that. 
Um, oh, I also wanted to say that when you set up this, you'll need the three tick version. So you know if you put it up like this and that's two ticks in between, you'll need five blocks in between, three, four, five, and that's the smallest amount to get three ticks. All right. So over here, we'll be able to do the two tick. I'm gonna go with three spaces in between for redstone. And then we'll set up just the part that when it's working, that's all you'll need, not the part that like boots it off or you know gets it started. Um, set all these to arrive. Arrived, arrived. All right, and then we're gonna link all these things. Um, how we're kind of aiming this is so that when a pearl goes from here to here, it's kind of like waving at the last generator and saying, hey, I got that pearl. You can go ahead and go into charging mode. So that's what that line is for. We're going to do that for each one. All right. So we also want that signal to come around and make it fire to the next one. I keep pointing this way. It's actually like a backwards motion. It's firing this direction. And I hope I did it that way, right? I still didn't link them. I forget that every time. And we're good to go on that. Alright, do this to all four of them. And then that's it. When it's actually working, this is all that ne that's needed. Now, I saw this on the uh, endergenic or endergenic generator forum that I was talking about before, um, Samuel three spelled with a four uh, made this. I like it. It's neat. It's uh, I don't know. It works. So because that's all we're needing, we're going to. No, it doesn't even work with the little lever. We have to put in the timers. So we'll go ahead and put in our injector here so we can get the pearls in and then uh, we need to get a timer set so that it is sending a signal to the injector to send a pearl there we go all right and then we're gonna need a signal coming from behind to reset the timer on the on the timer and then we are going to need to charge these three uh, generators and because it's three instead of just the one like the other example it gets a little bit more uh, there's a little bit more to it all right so we are going to take this signal out this way and I think actually on the first one if we want to throw up a, a sequencer Do like this. Yep. And then the signal will put that one into charging. And then we'll be able to take another one. Oh, I know why. Why I don't want to do that. I cannot stand when I do that. All right. Is because when these are firing, I don't want to put uh, generators in the in charging mode at the wrong time. So you want to come out one. There we go. First tick and on once two. Then we'll just go around here. You can probably get this smaller. In fact, we can go like this, right? There we go. And then that'll go to that one, and then we'll need to send another one to the next generator. Can't touch there. Um, we're gonna put down another sequencer, not really to like change the timing or, or any or anything like that. It's uh just to extend the signal. And then let's get out to our next one. Just pull it from here. And we'll do another sequencer <laughs> just to 
extend the signal one more time. All right. Um, because we want these things to go in the charging mode before um, it gets the pearl gets injected, then we are going to uh, do another sequencer, go into the injector, but this time we are, are going to uh, change the timing. And we're just going to, as long as it's not on the first one like the rest, so I'm just going to throw it on the third one. It can be on two, I think I've tested it on that and it worked. And then we'll set the timer to 30 ticks. And then that should be it. You see it's charging and then it's sending the signal to the injector. And when we put some pearls in, it should do the outside charging stuff and then just go in the middle. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and throw those in right now. All right, and there it goes finally. There it is working. And you see the outside isn't being lit. It only gets lit when the timer doesn't get the signal. And I'm kind of waiting for it to smash so we can kind of see it hit the outside real quick. But I guess it's not going to do it. When I want it to work, it doesn't work. And when I want it to fail so I can show something, then it just keeps on going. So there you go. It's up to 2500 per tick, just kind of like how I had all of those. So here's just a vanilla and RF tool setup that you can get full power. Uh, so you might be thinking next, well this looks kind of ugly. Who wants this all over the floor? What am I going to do with it? Uh, so just kind of to end the video, I what I'm going to do in my base and what I kind of show here is that you can just throw it in the floor. Throw it in the floor, put a piece of glass over it, you can walk around, this is the floor of your base now, it looks fancy. You know, you got some cool looking machines and things going on down here. You know, you'll have your ore processing over on one side or whatever. You can see nothing's going on. I want to empty it out of power so you can just see it. I've got uh, Ender I.O. cables going in some facades, you know, feeding the injector and pulling the power out. So I'll just throw in some of these and you'll get to see it work. There we go. It's powering up warms up and it should get up to uh, oh these are uh, not infused so if they're making like around 25 or 2,000 to 2,500 each then it should get up to around 8,000 so I'm kind of surprised that it's not when I was in here before it was getting up to 8,000 I don't know anyways it's working when you infuse them uh, you saw over there those were getting uh, 2,500 per tick. <laughs> I don't know why this is not going above this, but it is what it is. It works, I promise. Put it together, you'll see. And I guess that's it. So I hoped that this helped out with some of the explanation on the mechanics. Um, kind of follow through. If you're trying to make the design on the on the wiki page, maybe you can try to make one of these if the other if the design on that page isn't working out for you. Um, I showed you some real basic designs just to get it going. Maybe it'll it'll be helpful to teach you on how it works and you can make a big design of your own. And thanks for watching.